All right, the excitement of getting your driver's license when you're a teen could become a thing of the past. That's because self-driving cars without steering wheels could be on the road in as little as five years. CNET senior editor Jeff Bacalar is here with us to talk about that. First of all, dude, I you need the steering wheel to <laughs> look do. cool. I mean, that's the whole point of the steering it's wheel. It's going right. to be a lost art. <laughs> yeah. What does this all mean? It means that uh, we're just not going to be, ha we won't have that aesthetic growing up anymore. There's I, not going to be a steering wheel. I'll explain this technology. Yeah, what is I don't even understand. So what Google is trying to do is actually just remove the steering column and the whole sort of driving position totally and altogether, which is not something that other driverless uh, vehicles are going for right now. It's sort of like a hybrid where it's like, all right, you might need to have that human takeover in certain situations. You think, yeah. you think so? Where, yeah, with like unforeseen circumstances. Uh, yeah. Like other humans. Maybe. Yeah, something yes. like that. A lot of variables on the road. Yeah. What do you, go ahead. No, I was going to say, so Google's, uh, their latest sort of iteration of a driverless car just makes it like a moving couch. It's not even, it doesn't, <laughs> matter, it doesn't matter where what? you are. That sounds like that. Very nice like cup fun. holders, sounds, just need a nacho holder and we're good to go. That doesn't sound good, that sounds I, great to me. It does it? Okay. Yeah. Right. I think it's, I think it's, so, I, I look at it and I, and I know Elon Musk even made a comment that he thinks at some point cars that people drive themselves will be banned because yeah. driverless cars will be able to because they're using computers and microchips to assess dam uh, to assess situations that they can react quicker right. than humans. I sort of feel though that you want to be able to grab because even pilots in aircraft, when they're on autopilot, they're not reading the newspaper. They are looking ahead and trying to assess if they need to take over the plane. See, I'm with you on that, but I also think it's way easier to drive a car, which is why there are worse drivers on the road. I mean, it's hmm. it's you've been out there driving in Manhattan. I've been here all my life. People are terrible on the road. This, like, this is, is true. Like when you take a step back and think about eliminating the human element to driving a car, you know, his quote is like, everyone's out there driving around a two ton killing machine. He's not wrong. I, I mean, know, but it's over just, a million people a year die in car accidents. I, it's terrible. I know, but the American way is to hop in your car when I you're know. a teenager think and about, go escape, go Elaine, out on the road. Think about all the stress that would go away if there's no more road rage. It's freedom. It's freedom, though. It's freedom. I'm with you, all but right. I would much rather just sit there and not have someone yell at me and just have sort some of... Nachos. Just, right, have nachos. Or whatever. Nachos. Like your couch. <laughs> some wings. Why not? <laughs> Stay in your living room. Jeff right. Bacalar, thanks so much.